Welcome, everybody, to the teeny tiny adventures of Crete. Especially when you compare it to the giant fucking monster that is Kemet standing on our borders like a big spooky Egyptian shadow. So, we're going to start work on, on preparing to pull them apart, but preparing to end the pharaohs with some, some new little things here and there. So, somebody suggested this really, really cool mod called... Let me pull it up a second. I'll add it in the description as well. It's called uh, Pluribus Cassibus Belli, which add a whole bunch more, funnily enough, Cassibus Belli, which allow us to do things that were present in CK2 that aren't present in CK3. For example, Shattering Empires is now a Cassibus Belli we have access to with that. Now, I've had to tweak it a little bit because in the base mod, you can't shatter an empire unless you are an empire. Um, you basically put your empire on the line. If you lose the war, your empire is shattered. If you win, their empire is shattered and vice versa. Um, so if they were to declare war on us and we were to win, they'd shatter their own realm. But the caveat to that is, of course, we don't have an empire. So I've tweaked it to not only allow us to do it, but also if we lose, it shatters all of our kingdoms. So a, a similar type of... Um, a similar type of outcome, but of course we're coming at it from a weaker perspective. We aren't an empire tier tile. We're trying to attack very much upwards here. So I'm thinking if we stand in for uh, any sort of hope of chance of uh, defeating them here, we are going to have to do some fancy things first. So they've got 45,000 men versus our measly... What have we got right now? Uh, 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> Not including uh, mercenaries, uh, mercenaries, man at arms, of course, where we are doing slightly better than that. But we are less than 15,000 troops and, by the way, 3,500 gold in debt. So we do have to somewhat take that into account that if we want to attack Kemet, we're going to have to do some things first. My plan is very simple. I think we should go into Greece. We should go into all these kind of pro proto-Hellenic realms. We should unify them into kingdoms, give the kingdoms to our oldest and strongest family members... And let them fr go free. We, sh we should let them go independent. We should form alliances with them. And then we can have the Sea People Alliance. A, a kind of conglomerate of city-states led by Crete. Charging into Kemet and rip it apart from, from ten different realms. I think that would be awesome. So the question is, what are the du jour kingdoms? Um, well, they're not actually much smaller than they are right now, to be honest with you. It's got Laconia, Arcadia. Man, we've got a lot to work with. But if we manage to unify all of these in their Tashur Kingdom titles and then dish them out to our family members and then go to war against them, I think at that point they're, they're a little bit screwed. Because we've got a lot better realm here than they've got kind of, you know, over the course of the Nile and through the Levant there. Although if they keep expanding the way they are, we could be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, shit, look. They've got all of, like, Samaria and a card. This could be a problem. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. I've dished out all the land that we grabbed from Cyprus to our kind of family members, close family members. Not so close that, you know, there were people in line to succeeding us and taking, taking creep, but just kind of like cousins and half siblings and crap like that. Nominate a successor to the kingdom of Ledra. Um, how about, how about us? Can't nominate us. Um, I don't really care too much. Yeah, our son. That's fine. That's okay. Aaron married. So our current heir is still Airedale Terrier. Um, our heir is Airedale Terrier. Yep, that makes sense. And for you, I think we need to say let's not go for any alliances at all. Because if we marry into Comet, that's going to screw us for the future. We never know when we'll end up playing as this character too. I think I'm just going to go Inheritable Traits. What has she got? She's got the brain power. She's got the Amazonian power. She hasn't got the attractive nature. Um... So let's sort by, uh, I guess we'll just go beautiful then, huh? And see if we can get beautiful plus something else. And oh, we can't. Fucking brilliant. Um, that's assuming we even want a breeder at this point in time. Bear in mind, if we do that, we've, we've got to bite a husband, which is probably not going to happen. Um, yeah, I mean, when you take that into account, sod it. Let's just go back to alliance power, but let's make sure that we don't go for Kemet. That's the only... The Mahej Sapat, that sounds like could be Kemetic. Um, you've got Kushite Sahan. A djinn. That's something. The kingdom of Antandros. Perfect. You sound like a reasonable fella. Many held duchies. Oh, shit. Yeah, we do have a lot of those, don't we? <laughs> Holy shit. Right. Um, I'll do a bit more title tidying. Then we've got to decide what we want to spend our nine perks on. Um, wow, this is going to take a little while. Okay, I solved that problem. Vassals. Vassals are kind of fans of us. Yeah. We've got a couple here, like the people that we've just granted land to. Different culture, different religion, etc. Um, we're going to have to focus on converting the island now, aren't we? How are we doing over here? So all of our stuff is... Damn, it's almost entirely come up. We've got like one province up there on East Crete. And then we've got a Minoan in 
Malia, but I think it would be more important to start work over here. You know, they're like tiny little exclaves. Uh, hello? Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna pan away from that. Um, oh, it's everywhere. Help me. Yeah, they're like tiny little exclaves of, of religion that I don't really care about, whereas this is one big kind of homogenous heretic. So, <laughs> fucking homogenous heretic. Oh, Boreas is ill. Um, do you think I can afford to save this freaking... Boreas pulls through. He seems to trust you less, though. Or we lose Warhorse. Ah! No price is too steep. It is when we're 2,800 gold in debt, brother. And a key to pick came of age. Oh, you're really good. Wow. Holy shit. Um, Herculean genius, handsome, elusive shadow. Could be our successor. Uh, compassionate, impatient, and just. We could put you on the council. I just put on Nereus, but Nereus has only got 15 skill anyway. Um... See that or Lassie Shih Tzu who can't see? Ugh. I think I would prefer Akita because he's only young, so his chance of um, his chance of improving his skill set is going to be way, way higher than some of these guys. Speaking of which, right, let's actually get these perks out of the way now before I get too distracted here. Um, I'm going to go down the August tree because I think that's appropriate. We've got Strategist. Let's keep going down Gallant then. And let's finish this one off first. So that's that one dealt with. And then we've got Stewardship. Um... Great question. I think Architect probably wouldn't hurt. And then for Intrigue, Dark Insights in Dreadful. I think Dreadful. Yeah, okay. We'll go for that. Especially as we start to pick up vassals who aren't our religion, our culture. And let's kick out all of the other prisoners uh, as well. And let's say our prisoners of relevance. No, they're not. Okay, you guys can go. Give me give me some money here. Money is way more important than just having some, uh, some people around as ornaments. Oh, shit. Really? Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, see, this is exactly what I was talking about with taking on too much foreign culture at once and too much foreign religion. Uh, oh. We will not stand for your vile oppression of the Alassian Alassians any longer. Now our time is at hand. With, our, with the gods guiding us, we'll rise and free ourselves from your infidel rule. Uh, that's going to be a no from me, chief. It's going to be a no from me. Um, hold on, what if I adopted your ways instead? That is a, a coward's play. Fine, I have no need of such su such quarrelsome subjects. Or, you want freedom, you shall have it in death. And of course, that's what we'll do. Of course, I'm not I'm not a fucking coward. Oh, I am when I see minus 56 gold upon the screen, though. Maybe we could come, come to some sort of agreement, huh? Maybe we could, maybe we could work this out. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, it's dangerous. Go on. Okay. Whew. Not a problem. Could have been a bit dangerous. If we didn't have such incredible commanders, that would have been... We'd have lost the whole thing. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Still got to work on, obviously, winning them over, like, basically as fast as possible. Um, that's it. Stick to the, stick to the converting. No, no, no. Never stop. What are you doing? Ne never stop. Never stop. Well, that was quite a successful pilgrimage. We got a sparring blade master out of it by fighting some bandits. Oh, nice. Well, that's what we needed, to be honest with you. More prowess. Definitely throw that into the mix. Fucking hell, that's loud, huh? My God. I only bought a fucking choir home with her. Okay, 2,742 gold left to go. I can't imagine we're still in debt. Hey, shit. Uh, what do you mean? I'm raised man at arms. I think I'm gonna lower the amount of chariots we've got. This was a little bit overzealous, I think. <laughs> ah, I think this is, uh, this is probably the, the source of many of our woes. Right, let's do something like that. Drop more to size eight. That's better. Oh, I've dropped that one down too far now. Shit. 14 gold per month. Okay. I'm still going to take a bloody long time to pay off, but it's, it's a step in the right direction at least. We're once again in that spooky castle where last time she got spooked to the extent that we missed out. Like, what was it? Like a 95% chance on Brave or something? Shit like that. Now we've got 99%. Do it. She's done it. She's finally faced her fears after all this all, all this time and gained another three prowess. Again, something we, we desperately need. I give as good as I get, churl. Yeah, take that, Avenoir, you little shit. What did we do that? Might be any archpriest, but you're also a false doxy. Why is he calling us a fucking false doxy for? What's wrong with you? He's got a hundred opinion of us. Sometimes this game doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> Architect. That'll be good for when I finally get some money back. Uh, hard rule or prepared conscription. Army gold maintenance minus 15%. Holy shit, music to my ears. 19.6 gold per month. We're only 1,600 gold in debt right now. Is that in the base game? My half-sister, Priestess Appador, has brought forth undeniable evidence of, of my attempt to murder my half-brother, Prince Collie. Shit. Is that in the base game? Huh. Now that he knows, I must tread carefully. His vengeance might arrive tomorrow or in 10 years, or perhaps even never. But what if and when it does? 
I better not be unprepared. I had my reasons. Yes, I did. I did. He broke the rules and we had to bring about vengeance. You can't be mad at me for that. I'm, we're not the old lassie, okay? You can't just diddle your, your sister and get away with it anymore. We're getting a legendary reveler. And that's only from going to other people's feasts. Oh, okay. So do we want to become a hammer expert again or take any... What, what does respected expert do? That's just prowess plus two. Yeah, done. More prowess. I'm up for it. <laughs> no! I haven't had a single feast this game. We've just been going to other people's feasts because it's rude to say, no, what the fuck are you talking? Stop it. All she's done is lead troops and go hunting. And still she's obese. Shit. I, I mean, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Losing weight doesn't work. This game. This, this game drives me mad. Please, for the love of God. I'm going on the workshop. I'm going on the workshop. Someone's got to have added no more, no more obese characters dot mod. So the lazy, lazy mod makers didn't even bother to make a mod that makes a character not fat. So I've had to step up to the mark and dedicate hours and hours of my life to making a mod that removes our our large uh, large lady uh, land. Lose weight, except for real this time. Very large and rotund, these weak arms are heavy. You have a modifier obese. You have to be obese to lose weight. Uh, I should remove that, but make it so if you lose weight while you're not obese, you become malnourished, and then if you do it again, you die. That's a, that's a good idea. Uh, someone write that down. That'll be in version 2.0 beta 7.5. Uh, you got largeness. Having been the subject to... F having ha <coughs> line. Having been subject to far too many utterances of in awe at the size of that lass, and what an absolute chonker, you decide that you've had enough snark and vitriol for a lifetime. You waddle to the kitchen, and when you've regained your breath, you throw open the pantry curtain and grab a salad. You lose obese. You're welcome, by the way. I still have an option to lose weight. Did that work? Uh, living healthy. Apparently not. <laughs> the game seems to disagree. Uh, it did work. It did work. We are definitely... Hang on. Let me just... Oh, I can't, I can't do it because we're not fat anymore. Ah, there you go. There you go. There you go, Paradox. I did the thing that you haven't been able to do for three patches, and that's make it so fat cannot be fat anymore. In hindsight, I do kind of like the idea of our dynasty of of wolf people being so well fed and so well gorged and so decadent that they're just like fat werewolves that's a trope i don't know that anyone's done before big fat werewolf family that's quite fun um how are we doing on the speaking of uh whatever i was speaking about how are we doing on the conversion here um you got five months and three months left on that one how are we looking on the fuck off religion tab specifically um religion religion tab faith faiths there we are um Oh, that's looking good. We've got some Minoan that's taken over. Get out of here. And then the Alasian is basically gone at this point. Hittites, absolutely everywhere. Get out of here. Um, Labrador Inthian. Oh my god, look at Komet though. Kometic has just dominated. <laughs> that's absolutely insane. Wow, that's so cool. Um... Right, so we're going to displace that. And I want to, the only reason I want to check this is because, quite simply, we have 16,948 piety, roughly. So, when we finish converting this province in, in Minos uh, and, and a couple over here, when we're done with that, we reform the religion again. We reform the religion so we are bloodthirsty, angry savages. Oh, and we're now a hunter, too. Fantastic. There we go. Um, I don't think I've ever had the Max Hunter trait. We're always too busy on feasts and shit. So that would be, be quite nice. My daughter and I will do fine on her own. Um, or Labadia will be a good influence. Or Prukan... Who are you people? A, a random unmarried man trying to make friends with my daughter. My niece and cousin. I don't think so. My daughter will be doing absolutely fine on her own. I'm not going to trust any members of our family, to be honest. Around, well, any other members of our family, to be honest with you. Right, religion. Let's get to converting. So we've got... One, two, three provinces here. And then obviously we should we should really be focusing on our homeland first. Um, now that we've dealt with this. Oh, right. Cultural fascinations. How are we doing on that front? We've got to be way ahead of everyone else, right? Surely in terms of technology, we're, we're dominating. Um, let's go for standing armies. No, I don't think I need more mana arms. Economic four. Development four. Or agriculture four. Um, I mean, they're all pretty good. And then when we've done that, by the way, we've got, I mean... To be determined, to be determined, to be determined. So we've got those four and standing armies. Are we good at that point? 16 out of 18, but that's a uh, hybra cavalry and Mejai, which we can't have because we're not Egyptian. We've got Kopesh, uh, Marsh Raiders and Camel Domestication. Same story. 
Um, yeah, wow, we're actually almost done with, with all technology. Ah! What are you- what the fuck are you talking about? She literally- all she's done since losing weight is hunt. Fuck off. Get out of here. What the hell is wrong with her? My mother lassie has been showing signs of pregnancy for some time, and everybody thought it was her husband, Yuanos, who was the father of the child. Now it's become clear that the real father-to-be is none other than the temple holder. I am so close to having her executed. Poor Yuanos does not deserve this. He is the best character. Befriend him. Let's bring him back to court, because apparently he's not here. Uh, where is he right now? Um, my half-brother. Oh, he's working with his son in, uh, in a different realm. That's okay. I mean, that that's fine. As long as he's safe somewhere. Brother did what now? My brother Babe committed suicide too. Is it Consolamentum that they're doing? Maybe. Because that's, uh, that's one, two, three, four, four family members now that have committed suicide. Like, like, of our, of our generation. G -g generation. That's a bit weird. I'm not very happy with that. But on the plus side, after laborious preparations, I've finally been able to spend some time alone with you and us. The best boy himself. And honestly, my favorite character of the series. We need a series where it's just you and us. Like his backstory before he gets thrown into all this shit. She's actually become... She's actually become obese again. There is something so wrong with this game. Oh, who's this man? My husband. Oh, it's my husband. He's my husband. That's okay. That's, that's allowed. That's not bad at all. What are you talking about? This, that, this is this is so this it doesn't make any sense <laughs> this doesn't make any damn sense make any damn, i'm so glad i've added a, a button that just lets me fix it whatever because it's so it's so weird we're on the martial focus too by the way i know for i i, I thought that perhaps because we were on wealth focus and because we became avaricious and things like that that we were we were gaining obese because of that but no it, it's quite clearly just it's quite clearly just on a on a timer or, or something ridiculous like that. Okay, so Cyprus is all converted. We've still got that one holdout of Minoan in Malia, which won't take too long to get rid of. Besides that, though, I think we're I think we're ready. I think we're ready for Labrador Inthium version 2.0. Now, if we've got enough piety here, we can convert it and we can set ourselves up as the religious head. The only reason we didn't want to do that last time is because if we wanted to add new features to the religion, we couldn't do it. Oh, for God's sake. Well, at least they're not related to us, so I can't complain too much. We couldn't do it simply because we, as the head of the faith, obviously can't reform a religion again. So when we got rid of this, uh, you want to give me, you want to give me some stuff? Yeah. All right. Done. Um, so when we've got rid of this one, that that's it. Like we're we're finished. Apparently, this guy was also um, was also Minoan, so we're just able to demand it. Right. Great. Okay. Let's do it then. Create a new Aegean faith. So, it's cost 7,168 by default because we do have all of the tenants already. Um, right, what are we going to go for then? What are we going to go for now? I mean, obviously, we have to go for the boat, right? And then we call ourselves the, the, the sea wolves. Sea, oh god, there's got to be, there's got to be a pun here. Lycanthropy, lycanthropy, ly... Shit, give me a minute. This is the best pun I've got, and it does kind of work on multiple levels, but it's still shit. Uh, so you know how you can say she-wolf as, as an expression? Uh, what about just sea-wolf? That's rubbish. That's absolute fucking garbage, but I have nothing about it. That's abs it's the worst religion that ever has existed, but that's the best I've got. Uh, no, that's terrible. I can't commit to that. That's awful. D uh... Done. <laughs> done. Done. Easy. Uh, all right. Adjective. Dog. Single follower. Uh, dog. Well, adjective. Doggy. Like doggy army. That's better. Uh, many follower. Do dogs. Or just dog. No, dogs. I prefer. Um, uh, uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, what's, what's, what's this? N -n Nuzzles your... Necky, wacky, uh, pounces and pounces, uh, and lickies on your, uh, com wet wetty. <laughs> uh, 
I like that. Thank you. Okay. Um, right. Let's add some. Let's f- fuck that nonsense. Let's add some stuff then. So, uh, what is appropriate for our religion? Well, of course, warmonger is is pretty much up there, along with such things as struggle and submission for great holy wars. I'm also going to throw in here pursuit of power, which is a very very powerful aggressive doctrine. Sky barrels. I'm a big fan of sky barrels. Um, taxing non-believers seems pretty good as well. Um, vows of poverty. We're not going to do that. That's garbage. Um, syncretic. I mean, it does, it's just rulers, so not necessarily us. Syncretic folk traditions considers faiths and is considered by faiths to be hostile instead of evil. Sorry? <laughs> Tax non-believers. We've got sun worship, which is attrition taken in the desert and the mountains lower. Um... I mean, Helios is a thing, maybe, at this point in time. I don't know. Sun worship might, might work. Okay. More importantly, it lets us clap Egypt. No. Let's, let's, we, we, we've never done anything involving the sun. I'm not just taking it to, to take it. Um, religious law. Oh, I didn't take religious law. Shit. I mean, religious law is pretty good as well. Um, Adorcism. Get the spirits to help us out. Ancestor worship is appropriate and actually true. Um, but we're quite limited. We can only take another eight doctrines here. Um, communal identity. Oh, that's a bit tricky to pull off. Uh, seek indulgence from head of faith. Well, if we're the head of faith, that's pretty nice. Esotericism isn't bad. Sanction of false conversions, never. Um, Gnosticism in a journey. Meditate. Possibly gain theological insights. No, I'm not a fan of that one either. Um, Legalism is quite good, but probably irrelevant. Natural primitivism. No, thank you. I'm okay. I like my channel being where it is and not completely banned. I mean, if we go for Ecclesiarchy, we gain additional bonuses on doing the pilgrimage. So I think that one's pretty good just to get anyway. Um, Polyamory reincarnation is quite good. It's very rare that we're going to actually trigger that, though. Ritual celebrations, ritual hospitality. Sacred childbirth seems pretty good for the fertility bonus as well. Sacred lies. No. Sanctity of nature. No, I don't like that either. Okay, give me sky burials. Give me, um... Give me sacred childbirth. I think that one's pretty good to go for. Give me, uh... Non-believer tax? Yeah, fuck the non-believers. I'm up for that. Adorcism seems pretty fun to just to throw in. Asceticism, I'm not interested. Astrology seems appropriate for... Maybe the era. Um... Communal identity? No, we don't like that one. Communion, seeking dodges from head of faith. I mean, it's probably our best option right now. Esotericism? We do have. Bear in mind, we've got... Um, what's the birth? Auspicious birth. That works really well with esotericism. In a journey. Legalism. I don't like any of these. Reincarnation is, is probably never going to happen. I think I'm going to take... I, okay, I think I'll take... Um, I think I'll take a, esotericism. There you go. Doggy Paddle is finished. The ultimate religion. Um, it's going to cost us 14,000. We've still got plenty of uh, plenty of gold left over to go temporal. Uh, temporal for life, yep. Monkhood is enforced. No restrictions on wealth. Temporal for life is pretty good. Clerical marriage is allowed. Uh, that's okay as well. Yep, I'm not bothered by that. Do you want to go control, maybe, rather than recruitment? We could go for that. Um... No, I like the prowess, I think. Kinslaying is accepted. Witchcraft is fine. Adultery is fine. Deviancy is shunned, but not illegal. Um, we go full on accepted in that too. Sod it. Yeah, why not? We've got we've got the spare. We've, we've got the spare piety. So honestly, I'm all right with that. Um, this stuff's all fine. Lay clergy is absolutely fine. We have to have that actually. Um, fundamentalist is 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 fine. I think. Um, I think we're good. It's only going to cost us fifteen thousand. My friends, doggy paddle. Boom. And there we are. We've done it. Another reformation. The doggy schism. <laughs> you be careful. You can be hospitalized for that. The Labradorinthian priests have lost their way. Can no longer be trusted to guide us. I agree. Lassie was the, was, the, was the leader of the priests, and they have lost their way. To remedy this, I have gathered a select group of priests to discuss the future of our faith. Impassioned priests are already talking about launching great holy wars to spread their new faith across the world. And I can't help but notice, but Greece is becoming comedic. Eh? Okay, well, there's more reason to start pulling that apart. I've chosen to personally this burgeoning doggy movement. Oh, no. And have assumed the title of high priest. 
<laughs> the world will see that Apollon favors us. Um, wow. How many of our vassals converted? Quite a few. But it's still deadly right now. We could be in a lot of trouble here. So the first thing we need to do is start converting faiths. The second thing we need to go do is go to all of our vassals and say, fucking convert right now. Uh, you've already converted up. Right, well, let's open up the character finder and make things a little bit quicker. I right, get out of here. Right. I'm looking for reset to defaults. Anybody who is not, uh, not doggy paddle. And then we're going to say demand conversion. You're going to say yes. I'm going to say demand conversion. You're a nun. Uh, okay. That does kind of ruin things. Ah, slightly. Um, demand conversion. There it is. Got to make sure I don't accidentally confer lycanthropy. Uh, would be unideal, I will admit. Converts. Converts everywhere. The second the going gets good, the good get going. Look at this. You people are cowards. Wow. She says jump. They say how high. I mean, it's a good thing because we're the ones saying jump. But my God. Um... Right, let's go and... Oh, she's a nun as well. You did not convert? Or what's going on here? You converted, but your realm didn't. Bollocks. Okay, this could be trickier than I expected. Um, so by rank. So these are the highest ones that we can't convert over. Um, all right, let me, let me start working down the list then now that it's cleared out. Okay, that's looking better. It's not perfect, but it's definitely better. Um... Okay, uh, you won't convert. Oh, no, he, he can convert now. I guess at the time he was just busy or something like that. Um, so so the, the, these people now at the top of the list are still ones that cannot or won't convert. Man, it's going to take a long time if I go through person by person like this. Bear in mind, it is quite a sizable list. Um, but we'll see how we get on here. Oh! I think I've been, I don't think I've converted like a, like Anthropy accidentally to anybody yet. Luckily enough, the doggy eye council is fucking incredible. I'm a big fan of that. Okay, so what do we got then? We can see the end of the spirits now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stick that as... Oh, no. Paradox, you've done it again. I think I pointed this out, didn't I? In the... Um, in the Africa series that we did. They still haven't fixed it. Oh, I'm all right with that. Okay. Um, give me a second. I'm going to seek the end of the spirits. Once or twice. Optimal spirit aid seeking. Going on right here. The button seems to be fading away. <laughs> That'll probably do. That'll probably do. Um, 500, 500, 500. Oh, I've got enough gold for this. It's fine. 500. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> Spirit's blessing. Possessed. Excellent. Rock Spirit's Blessing. Shrewd. Wind Spirit's Blessing. Tree Spirit's Blessing. Water Spirit's Blessing. Strong. Tree Spirit's Blessing. Strong. Tree Spirit's Blessing. Infirm. Rock Spirit's... Oh, wow. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh! Impotent. What do you mean, impotent? Okay. Okay. I think we're fine. I think we're through it. I don't know what fucking traits we've got. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Uh, but we were possessed. And that means that all of the people in our realm, who are our religion, will love us. Because we've been possessed by, I guess, Apollon. Or something to that effect. What have I done? 11,000 gold in debt. Shit. What else can we do? <laughs> what else can we do here? Uh, hold a mystical communion. I assume that's a, that's a one-off one, unfortunately. What about divining the stars? Can we do that? Oh, they've, they've limited that one, too. That's a, that's a fucking tragedy, huh? Uh, what else will the future hold for us? I've spent many nights looking up at the sky, tracking the movement of celestial bodies. I have noticed a pattern after days of analysis, and I'm now confident in my prediction. The signs are clear. A great battle lies in wait, my friends. Comet, your days are numbered. And in fact, they've split. What happened here? Probably a succession by the looks of it. Alama Cardian. Oh, what happened here, huh? Well, hi, King. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. Um, your wife is fucking scary, brother. She is frightening. Well, this might take a while, unfortunately. So the war with Kemet is a little bit delayed on account of um a little bit of debt. Just uh, just uh, just a couple of coins there down uh overall. So what we're gonna do is focus on religion. Um 20 years to convert one province. Fuck. Well, um, let's hope that some of the provincial rulers 
die and their successors aren't doggy. Damn it. I was going to say then we could just demand conversion. It's so weird that when they convert with you, their realms don't convert. But if you demand it after the fact, their realms convert with you as well. How does that make any sense? Well, we're not doing bad. It's about a 50-50 split between Doggy and Labrador and Theum right now. So, shouldn't take long for it to just naturally convert over. Especially because a lot of the rulers are they themselves. Um, you know, are, are, are Labrador and Theum. Um, no, Doggy. Doggy is the new one, isn't it? Friendship ended with Labrador and Theum because of Lassie being utterly disgraceful. Thank you for watching. Uh, tomorrow, then. We start work on Picky Park Greece. We will build as many dynasties as possible over in Greece, separate from our own realm. And then a big united fleet will go and kill Kemet as the final as the final thing we do. But that will obviously take a lot of building up, so, so don't don't think it's gonna just all be swept up with tomorrow. Thank you to Kyle my doctor, my little Cthulhu, Dracone, Big Weeb, Pang Power, Dork, The Wizard Gandhi, Ethox, Mythomatic, Bling Magica, DKO, Spooty Booky Banger, Spoo Spooky Booty Banger. My name <laughs> isn't Dio. Siphon, James Shea, Ushanka, and Odie, along with everyone at the executive producer tiers over on Coffee for their support on Coffee. Thank you for your coffee. Thank you as well to Betterman's Max, El Zilcho, Jesus, Nox Immortalis, The Gentleman Gross Astronaut, Tom Page, Moondoggy, Marcel, and Extra Smooth for their support as well. Everybody over at Coffee, thank you guys for supporting the channel over the past and last few days of Coffee. And I will see you all tomorrow for maybe dealing with Greece before they flip over to Kometic as well. And then it's just Kometic on all sides.